Welcome back to the Thursday night preview. Uh, this week we have the Bills at the Jets. Got two Jet fans. The J E T E. You remember that? that? Who did that? <laughs> now hold on, I remember that. Who did that? T- Tony Richardson. <laughs> the New York J E T E Jets. Yeah. J E T E Jets. Yo, I totally forgot about that. Yo, legendary <laughs> moment, man. Oh, when man. we say legend on the podcast, so you guys can understand the lingo, it's acts like that. You know, like misspelling or just being a legend. J E T E Jets. That's why he's a chief. Like, Yo, I was watching that live. I was fucking dead. <laughs> he wants to be, a, like, I don't know if for some reason he's held in high regard in Jets, like, front offices. Like, he's always around the Jets, but he's really a chief. Yeah, yeah like I wouldn't light, have him. I mean, he was a big part of those Jets. He was. He made was. some noise. He was. Shout out to Tony Richardson. Um. Anyway, so the the line on this game is three and a half. The Jets are getting three and a half at home. Mm. Uh, who do you think's taking this game? I'm. I'm. I think the Bills are. I think if the Bills want to be taken for real, they're five and two right now, pushing for first place. Right, the Pats are six and two. They got to win games like this on a short week on the road. You know, against the Jets team coming off a, a pair of abysmal losses. Mm-hmm. Where if you flip those scripts, it's their Jets are five and three, and this is a huge game in the division. But that didn't happen. They've collapsed twice now in the fourth quarter, back to back weeks against the the Dolphins and now the Falcons. So it's an interesting game for the Bills. The Jets shoot themselves in the foot, right? They're the most penalized team in terms of yards, five hundred ninety six yards. So jeez, yeah. the Bills got to take advantage. I know the Jets don't get after the quarterback that much. It's more of the secondary guys who are coming for pressure. Uh, the linebackers in the secondary, you know, so that might be an advantage for Tyrod Taylor. Although it could be an advantage for the Jets because if they get after the quarterback with those guys this week, the the Bills don't really have options out wide that scare you in Deion Thompson and Zay Jones. So we'll see how the Jets plan to get after it this week. But I like the Bills to be taken for real. McCoy has put together back-to-back Congo outings after my boy Lamb has put him in the play category on the plays and phase the last couple of weeks. Shady whisperer. Yeah, I'm going. The boss with, is just with the fucking bills. on fire right now. Yeah, all right. He's putting me over too. Right. <laughs> is this over. the is this the Vlad Dukas bowl though? Wow. Yeah. Yo, I had no idea it was on the Bills until I saw him like couple McCoy after one. I was like, wow, this legend once went down in history as I think the only player in Hard Knocks history to get a. Uh, a sweep vote on ugliest player on the team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was the, he, that's my favorite part. He's not that. playing ugly right now. I'll tell you what. Tyrod Taylor is a fucking playmaker, and I think that's what gives the Bills uh, the key here. Tyrod Taylor has gotten better and better each year, and he continues to be one of the more elusive quarterbacks in the league. Uh, the Jets don't get their natural pass r- rush, like you said. They, they have a lot of run stuffing guys in there, but not really getting to the pass. It's more the secondary guys coming up there. You're going to need a spy against Tyrod Taylor, and if you're spying Tyrod Taylor, you're not paying t- t- attention to Shady, and that's when things start to go haywire. You saw the Bills really kind of dominate the Jets uh, early on this season. And I think that happens at the same. I think it's a big test too because a lot of people are on the Bills bandwagon all of a sudden. So that, that's no one circles the wagons, like, as they say. So uh, because Bills Mafia, of, the yep. Bills Mafia is out here. So it's going to be a big test for them. Like the, the Jets team is, they have a lot of heart. They're outplaying their talent. They won't go away. So if the, the Bills got to put a team like this away, longest playoff drought in sports right now is the Buffalo Bills. Mm. Let's get it, Buffalo. Ninety nine was the last time they saw a playoff. Wow. Yo, Bills Mafia, everything you see about them, it's for real. Like they They're they psychos. I, I went to school there for a couple of years in Buffalo and, you know, s- sometimes watching games with people over there, it is outrageous. They're like <laughs> yeah. down. I saw someone get put through not a table. It was a ironing board. <laughs> I was like, but that, these people will put That's like a anything. regular and pregame. It, it was on them. fire though. Yeah. Was well, it? Don't forget the fact that it was on fire. Was and forgot world. about the oh. fire. And no, nobody nobody put him through that. He volunteered to put himself through that. <laughs> yeah. you know, there was no choke slam or power. Speaking bomb. of which, we got to put Impy through a fucking table. Guys. We do yeah, we have to put Impy like, through We've a been table. really slacking on putting Impy through a table. Coming for you, Impy. Yo, I think that if you're the Jets, how do you not just put nine guys in the box and just try to stop McCoy? Well, that's what I was going to say. The Bills are a top 10 running, running team this year with McCoy so far. And the Jets are really not good against the run. They're ranked 28th right now. This could be. Fucked up. And they don't get after the quarterback, and you have Tyrod Taylor who can move around. They could pretty much... This is not a good matchup, I feel like. I, I, just, I just think you put nine in the box, and you have Deontay Thompson and Andre Holmes and Zay Jones. Charles Clay, some. is he out or is he playing? 
I think he's out again. I think he'll be too. out because then, yeah, like, then you have the long the boy Nick O'Leary, bro, against him. Yo, he's just targets. Yo, no yeah. gloves. What? <laughs> Nothing. Jorge Posada. The thing, the thing about Shady McCoy's been beating those big man boxes his whole career, though. It's, it's just been him on a lot of teams with no real quarterback help. And he's been beating those boxes because he can get to the outside so quickly. So stacking the box, like. Committing to the run, it would definitely do the Jets. I think they should commit to the run. But stacking the box against McCoy is not it's not like stopping the traditional running back. He's he can very much slip out of that and go for a big one if he gets to the outside. Catch it out of the backfield as well. Right, and take a screen out there. You know, it's you could do a lot of things with Shady McCoy to to avoid those nine man fronts, especially against as well as they've been playing, rookie cornerbacks. Yeah. I'm sorry, rookie safeties. So uh who who are we taking here? Three and a half. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Bills on the road. Uh, covering yeah. three and a half. It's funny because the Jets have been playing well. I, mean, I shouldn't say well. They've been covering like spreads. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, Buffalo, I feel like they want to be taken seriously. And this is their chance to really, at the midway point in the season, get their sixth win and go six and two. You know, from there, you really have to play 500 ball and you're pretty much in a playoff spot. So games like this, like I said earlier, got to win. Division matchup is going to be a tough one on the road. But I'm going with the Bills. All right. What about you? I'm going with Gang Green. Yeah, three yeah. and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, that half point is killer. So I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with the Jets. I think the Bills win, but I think it's a close game. And yo, the Jets do play close games. They're not really getting blown out. So I think I think they'll cover. I think uh, when you look at Thursday night games, you're you're thinking about you're gonna go to your best players. You're gonna go to guys that have got you there before on on a short week to prepare. Luckily, these are two division opponents, so they know each other. So the short week to prepare shouldn't be too much of a difference because they already are so familiar with each other's personnel. Also uh, played once before. Oh yeah, exactly. Also, also yeah, exactly. Forgot about that too. Also played once before. So I, I'm gonna do the same as Nick. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the Jets, but I think the Bills win this one in a close one. I think it's a really low scoring game. I wouldn't be surprised if this one ends like 10-3 with a last second field goal, <laughs> or 10-7. Okay. That makes more sense than what I was just talking about, 10-7. All right. You know, math. All right. Well, there you have it. Thursday night preview. Another one in the books. We'll see you guys next week.